once again, space engineers, uh, we are here today to, to have some fun and do something that, well, for years I thought wasn't possible, but you know, I figured it out and it was so easy and I wanted to share it with you because we're going to be talking about mining in a mobile transport base and mining with SAM instead of using PAM. PAM is one of the most uh, used, I guess, uh, uh, miners uh, scripts in Space Engineers, just hands down. It's what you've been using forever. Uh, we all use it and it works great, but it's not supported any longer. And so uh, and nobody has the code. So it's going to be really hard to replace it. So I've been working with Sam for now, what, uh, two years, almost a year and a half, and um, made a few modifications and updates. And so I decided to see what I could do about making it a miner. And so uh, we went on the Discord this morning and talked with some folks about rover problems and mining and stuff and things. And, and uh, someone suggested this miner, or this uh, rover, I'm sorry, and uh, as a, like a mini base or something, and that they use this a lot for uh, mining and, and things like that. So I thought, well, you know, I'll get back to it. I'm not a big fan of rovers. I typically just fly it back to the main base or build a small little outpost and, and then transport the stuff back and forth and, you know, do it that way. But it's really interesting to do this is a mobile base. And I've also had a lot of questions about actually making a, a mobile base. If I move it, can Sam connect there? Well, you're going to learn about that today. And we're going to get started right away. I wanted to show you this base. This is the, the link, and it'll be in the description where you can click on it and be able to subscribe to it real easy. And that's, uh, that's going to be a key element of this particular video. You can use your own base if you want to or use your own mobile. But this is a real nice truck. Uh, I call it a truck. I don't think it's a rover. I think it's a truck. But um, anyway, it's, it's real good. It only has the containers on it. It doesn't have refineries or assemblers or anything. So you've got to take the stuff back to the main base to get refined. But this is a real good place to have a mobile area that you could bring your smaller SAM ships into and uh, they can be drilling and then you come back in to uh, drop it here. And then maybe you'd have another one that picks it up and takes it off to the main base for processing and so on and so forth. Anyway, let's uh, get right into this. So we are using this mobile vehicle today. We're also going to be using my version of Sam's Autopilot Manager. And it's quite important that you upgrade to the latest version because um, it contains some fixes that aren't available in the older versions that were originally done by Magistrator who originally created this uh, the script. And so I've updated it and it works to do some of these cool things that we're doing today. Uh, the next thing we're going to be doing, and I'll have all these links in the description. So uh, we're going to be using the Nanobot drill and fill system. This is what makes SAM mining easier and possible because PAM actually uses the physical drills and we're going to use the Nanobot drills. So three kind of cool things that we're going to put together and make SAM do your drilling for you today. So let's get started. I've uh, out here in the, uh, the, the world, I've just created a standard. Let me turn these off. I've created a standard Earth-like world, as you've probably seen before. There's the base over there towards the center. It sits by a lake. Uh, it's got the Earth-like thing on it, and you know you get started in there, and that's fine. But what we're looking for today is we're going to be uh, using our mobile base, and so we're going to be using this truck. I've made a couple of small changes, so I wanted to point those out to you right now. And these are important changes, obviously. One is it didn't have an antenna on it. So I put the antenna on the top. In a way, it looks cool. And in a way, it's really ugly. But, you know, for a little mobile base, it, it kind of looks nice with that antenna there. I hadn't found a better place to put it. And I just got the truck. I only subscribed to it just, a few, I don't know, an hour or two ago. And so um, I've been playing around with the truck and, and seeing some things. And it's it's great truck. I, it, I wrecked it within about 85 seconds of driving it, so I had to build another one. But anyway, here it is. And then the other thing I've changed, the only things I've changed, is I took out the panels that were here, and I put in these uh, uh, automaton or the uh, automated, or what are they called? Those, these new programmable blocks that go around a corner and look really nice in many ways. And 
this didn't stop anything from coming in uh, into the deck back here, which was nice. And, you know, they went around the corner and they looked good. And they've got two things on them. One has, we've got Sam, my version, and this happens to be 1.8, uh, TC 1.8 here. And you'll need that and um, not the older versions. And this has uh, Izzy's inventory manager in it, which is, doesn't ever put a label up there, so it's kind of hard to know what it is. But that's what it is. And that's because we need it to move the ore from the ship which happens to be my dronador, what I call dronador, because it looks a little bit like a matador or like a bull or like a, that's where the name came from. And because it's got these horns, see here in the left and right. So anyway, that's what I called it. It's got a lot of power. It can haul a lot of stuff. And uh, it's got two, it's small grid, but it's got two containers in it. And it fits nicely in the back of this truck. So uh, that does real well. The truck also has a container on the very, or a, con a connector on the very back, so you could use either one. So there's that. That's, a, that's what we'll be using today. And what we're going to do is we're, we're going to drill some ore using SAM. And notice there's no drill on there directly, but there is this drill. This is the uh, drill and fill, and that's the drill that we're going to be using. So I um, wanted to show you we're, we're kind of parked on top of some ore here. But what we're going to drill today is not the cobalt and silver. Yeah, we might. But what we're going to drill is some magnesium and some ice, which I found way back over there uh, about a mile or one and a half kilometers away. And so here's how I mark it. And just so you know, you can see that it says 30M SAM, magnesium 30M SAM. What does that mean? Well, if you're using the SAM drill, it works a little bit differently than when you are using the PAM. Because PAM, you've got to fly out and make that, you've got to know where you're going, and then it, it finds its path and follows exactly how you've done it, and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is, let's go ahead and mark this silver, and I want to find the best place, and so I'm going to fly up and down. Uh, a lot of times I even walk it, so let's just do the walking. 24, 25, that's too much, so back up a little bit. 23, uh, 23, 24 is too much again. So it looks like that's about it, is about this 24, 23, 5, I think was the best. It happens to be right under this stinking tree, of course. Well, we can take care of that. Um, and uh, where's that tree? Well, maybe I can't take care of that with this with the saw. Sometimes you can. Well, it doesn't matter because even if there's an obstacle, let's talk about that, what we do. Well, we're going to take this 23 point... Well, we're just going to call it right here. And now I'm going to just fly directly up at about 10, 15 meters. So that'll put me up at 38. So let's just go up to about 38 meters. And we know that it uh, is where we need to be. So we've got 36, 38 meters right there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is make a GPS new from this place. And I'm going to call it silver. And I'm going to call it 38 meters for Sam. And the reason I want to do that is because if I do it from the ground, then Sam's trying to always connect to its remote. And you'll need to do this with your own ship to show what your remote control is. I don't know where that's going to be, uh, but you need to find the spot. I usually find about 10, 15 meters is a pretty good place, and that's enough. Who cares? Uh, so uh, any ship that I've used, they typically work like that. But you might want to get better with it. So that's okay. I'm going to mark it as 38 meters. All right, so then later on, we can go and drill some silver, if we happen to remember to do that. And we'll uh, pick that up with the SAM ship in the drilling. So first and foremost, what we want to go do is we want to get ice. So I'm going to jump in this ship. Now this is a SAM ship that has been completely uh, kitted out. You know, it's got uh, lots of cameras. Actually, this one has eight cameras. And it's got reactors and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. It's a good SAM ship. And then now we've got our SAM mobile base. So. 
I'm not going to show you how to set those up. If you need to know how to set those up, see my other video on that, because that's got lots of details on how that works. And so what we want to do here is we're going to get in. Uh, here we go. Let me, yeah, I'm here. Okay. So I want to turn on the ship, obviously. <laughs> we got to do that. And you can see we weren't level. We're level because we brought the ship out level, but we're not level, so it's trying to fight and make it level. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it from here, and then I can just jump back a little bit. And one of the things I want to make sure I do, because as I said, this is pretty important, I'm going to make sure this is running on TC 1.8, because if you're running on an older version of SAM, uh, it's just not going to work. The, I mean, some of my versions might, but let's make sure you're in at least 1.8, okay? So we've got our ship here, and now we want to set up our drill. What are we going to do? Well, uh, we're going to drill. We're drilling for some ice is what we're going to do. So we want to come in here and say, not drill, but we want to collect. This is pretty important. We want to be able to collect, not drill. Drill is going to make a hole. I don't want a hole. I want just the ice. And I want to turn off all these other things except ice because, as we saw, we were sitting on top of some silver or uh, cobalt or whatever we were sitting on top of, and we don't want any of those right now. All we want is ice, so I like to turn all these off. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but it's not too hard. And I turn them all off except what I really want to go after. And now I know my ice from my GPS is at 35 meters down, okay? So I want to come down here and say my vertical offset is going to be minus 30, because if the ice is 35 meters down, we want to start about 5 meters above that and go up and down and around it, right? So that's going to be great. Let's show our area to make sure we got our drill co uh, connected correctly and take a look. And yep, that looks like about 30 meters directly underneath our SAM ship. So that looks great. Now, it also is directly underneath the drill. And the SAM ship is going to go to its remote control, which happens to be up here by where that antenna is. So it's going to be off just a little bit. And you may have to check yours. And if it is, it depends on how you've built your ship. But you can always take that just a little bit if we take our drill system and move it forward just a little bit. So I want to say forward offset. I'm going to do that by, now let's try 8 meters and see what happens. Whoops, went the wrong way, so minus 8 meters. And, okay, now that's more more close to directly from our ship. Yeah, you know, plus or minus. We're going to call it good. You, you may have to play around with that just a little bit so you can learn how your ship is built. But that's the whole point right here, is now we're ready to mine. We don't make any holes, and we're going to go mining. So we're, let's do that right now. Let's take our SAM ship and go mining. So one of the things we got to make sure we do is turn on the drill system because that's got to be on. I, I tend to not do that sometimes and, and oops a lot. So we come in here, we take our SAM ship, and we can see that we have no navigation, or no, we have the navigation to the back of the truck. Okay, so uh, that's where we're going to be going a little bit later. We need to switch over to our configuration, and I'm not going to go in the rear. What I'm going to do is go to that GPS, and after you've added these, these are real simple. You can see how simple these are to change uh, jobs, too. This is one of the problems with PAM. You just can't, whoops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. You, uh, we want to go to the ice and just copy it to the clipboard. And now uh, come back into the control panel, go to SAM, programmable block. And we're going to add that in our configuration right here. We just say add and a space and that, and hit run. So now that's in here. So now we've got ice, we've got the rear of the truck, and we've got the back of the truck. And so I want it to go between the, uh, the ice and the back of the truck. That's what we're gonna do today. And so I wanna come up here, make sure that I have in my custom data, I have a loop, and the no dampeners is just a, a way of doing that. I usually have another setting that I put in here. But I found that this one's running, this is the standard one that comes in SAM, and it's running pretty well with this. I've made a couple of test runs. And so I haven't done with the drill, but I've, I've parked in there a couple of times and it's worked. So we're gonna see together if it really works with the load. 
But anyway, it's going to go a loop and it's going to go between those places. Great. So I want to come back over here and I've got that. Um, I want to go up and I'm going to select that configuration. So we go there. That's going to be the second place we go. Now we'll go over to the, the navigation and at the back of the truck, we want to unload. So that says charge and load and and unload. That's what we want to do is unload at the back of the truck. And then here, what we want to do is load. Uh, that's load, unload, charge and load. I did, yeah, I pushed it too much. So hop, discharge, uh, charge and load, unload. No, well, I want to load it. Come on, go back again. Hop, discharge. Uh, I can't read what that says. It's pretty hard to read. Charge, load, that's what we want to do. Okay, so now we're ready to go. And now we tell Sam to run. And we're mining with Sam. That's just it. We're going to go mine some ice with Sam. That's all you got to do is set those th things up. It, it's a little bit of setting up, but there's so many advantages to using Sam in mining that uh, Pam doesn't have. For one, you can move your base. For another, like we talked about there a minute ago, I uh, got a sorry. Got uh, weather. I want to get rid of the weather. So, uh, but there's different things that you can can do with Sam that you really can't do with Pam. Um, finding the the base and and setting all that up uh, is just one of the the things that I I find real pleasant. And so here we are, we're above our place. We're the, our SAM ship's going to stop at this spot. And I don't know if I set that up. I did not. I need to set this up real quick. Uh, that's what I want, is for that container to fill. And then I don't want to fill this other container. So we should be drilling. There we are. We're getting the large cargo container filled up. The drill is up here somewhere, and it's getting, oh, i got to do this. And we can see the drill is hitting. We're filling the large cargo container. Once it gets full, Sam will say, oh, I'm full. And it will go back to uh, unload it. So um, we're almost there. It takes just another few seconds. And here we go. It got full enough. 95% is what it's set to, so uh, you could set it to more if you want to, but it got full enough, and now it's flying off back to the the next place. And you see, we didn't drill a hole. It's not ugly, which is I really like these drilling fills because they're, they're just, uh, you don't have to make that big hole in the ground. So um, it'll be back to our base here in just a second. And... Hopefully it's going to park. I haven't really tried this with a full load. It just barely does park in the back of this truck. So um, uh, it's very nice to watch it. And of course, I can't fly it that, that well. But I'm certainly glad I have Sam doing it. Um, so we're, we're going to drop in. I'm going to go ahead and turn that area off on the drill because we know it's working now. So uh, I like to watch it just fly in. And I'm going to turn these off. And we just watch it fly. Uh, how nice, huh? So it's going to come in just behind the back of the truck and do a turn and go and park and unload. How nice. It did exactly where it was supposed to go. Didn't crash or nothing. I like it. Okay, so I'll turn this on and we can watch that the, the truck will suck that out of there. And that's done through Izzy's inventory manager. If you don't put that on there, you don't get the stuff taken out. So, um, oh, I've still got it to where it's dumping the ice. How nice is that? So we're not storing it anywhere. <laughs> I'm just tossing it. Oh, well, um, that was an earlier test. I wanted to empty the truck. And so now it's going to go off and, and do its own thing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this back off here real quick and uh, so we can store that ice. I don't want it to throw out. I don't want it to collect. Okay, so there we go. And now Sam is taking off, and it's going to go bring back another load 
of ice. Okay, so there we go. That's how you do that. And that with every one of them, you want magnesium? We can switch the job. And then we, can, we need more ice, we can just switch it back again by changing the, the GPS. That's what I was saying about with Sam, you can do that. You can't do it with Pam. So switching jobs is a big thing. Um, the, um, we'll, we'll wait for that to come back here and do that. And, and if we want to go back over here and get some silver, we need a little silver. Well, we just switch the job to silver, uh, wherever that, there it is. There's the, the point. And then it'll go and get, get silver. And then, so we can change our, our jobs. We do have to go in and set it for the right ore, and we have to set it for the depth. But we've got all that stored in our GPS. How nice is that, that we can just put it right in our GPS and have everything work. So I'm going to go... I just watch it fly. I like to just watch them. Uh, it's over here somewhere. I guess I better find where it is. I didn't see it. There it is, because there's no great big hole in the ground. So, you know, it just does its thing, and now it filled up, and there it goes. It's going to head back. It's got that one container only full. Now, another thing that you can do here is if you were flying in it and you were making your own mining, you could easily have it go in here. Did I catch it? No, I didn't catch it. So you could easily, oh, you could easily go in and, um, yeah, that's what I get for trying to fly. I am not a good pilot. That's why I have my, my unkillable turned on. Whoa, I flew too far. I got that. Yeah, I shouldn't be showing the, my lack of flying skills. Um, okay, so I could go in here. What I was starting to say was I could jump in here and change the mining job. I have two containers and only one's full. So I can, in mid-flight, change the, the mining job. And if you use my remote controls, which is one, another reason why you want to get, get into this level, and maybe I'll make another video on that. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do that. I can actually remote control this and say, go pick up uh, this ore and this ore. And you fill, you have to fill a container. That's the best we can really do without an event controller and some more complex stuff and so on and so forth. But um, it works really great. Now we're, we're empty again. And now what's going to happen? Well, I need to move my truck. There's a problem of, you know, aliens in the area or whatever. And I need to move the truck. So I'm going to go in and move the truck. This is something you can't do with Pam either. Take off the parking. I'm going to move the truck just a little bit here. Now you have to be careful where you move it and you can't move it too much because Sam has to find it and so on and so forth. I'm not a very good pilot here either. But I'm going to just come right over here and just call it good here. So I'm just going to park it right here. Now, this is a key element. You've got to park it before Sam comes back. Because Sam doesn't know, he can't find the moving, but a moved location, it will do just fine. So once Sam comes, it, it, it's kind of stupid. It goes. It says, I know how to go to the ice. I'm going to get the ice, get the ice, get the ice. And it fills up with the ice. And now it says, okay, where's the base? Where's the base? Where's the base? And that's what it's going to do. It'll, it jumps to find the base. So as long as you move your vehicle before Sam finds, uh, before Sam fills up, and then you park it before Sam comes back, then it will find it directly. Now, what would happen if you move it while it's moving? Well, Sam would come over to that other location, which is about over there, and it should time out and say, whoops, I couldn't find it. Then it's going to go back to the drill site again, and then it's going to come back and find your new base. So either way, that will work, but it's always best to do it before you have it coming back. So let's go over here and... Just turn these off and watch. Sam's going to fill up again. There it is. There it comes. Okay. 
<laughs> and so now it's it's saying, well, where's the where's the base? Okay, but as soon as it takes off from that spot, it says, okay, I know where the base is. I'm headed there. Now, uh, you also have to make sure that you have antennas in the right location. Now, we want to watch and just show how that's going to come in. And you'll see that it's going to come to the right location. It's not going to go to the old location. It's going to come to the new location. You can see that it was over the old location there, and now it's coming in. And it's parked on kind of a funny angle. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen here. Let's hope it's going to fly in well. But certainly, as you can see, Sam has come into a new location, and it looks like it's going to do just fine. Oh, that's a nice truck. A nice truck and ship combination, don't you think? I mean, I'm really happy with it. So <clears throat> now it's come in here, and we just made our new connection. Mobile base, SAM mining, how do you like it? Let me know in the comments below how you like this video. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to uh, ask any questions uh, here or on my Discord, and uh, ring the bell there on the YouTube, and make sure that you get notified when I have new videos like this because uh, this is one of the coolest videos I think I've done in a while. Uh, I've got some good videos, I think, but I'm, I've enjoyed this one about as much as I've enjoyed anything else ever, and uh, it all worked. I, this is not pre-tested. It was just I knew that this is what's going to happen, and it really did, and so off we go in, flying into the sunset <laughs> a bit. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it, and we'll see you next time right here on the uh, uh, YouTube channel and uh, with a new video. Thanks for watching.